The biggest problem is corruption. And the Chinese have dealt with it and dealt with it decisively. You steal money of ARVs, money that must go to people who are HIV positive, by go and buy medica, um, uh, uh, medication for people who are HIV positive. You steal that money. And as a result, a lot of people die. Why should you be alive after killing people? You deliberately killed people. You knew when you don't give them that medication, they're going to die. What happens? What are the consequences there? You don't get killed. You don't get imprisoned. Yet a lot of people have died. Everybody has, con has concerted that ESCOM collapsed because of corruption. But we don't know who's corrupt till to date. But they know there is corruption. Corruption, corruption, corruption. ESCOM collapsed. And as a result, oxygen machines in hospitals switched off and people died. So you are not just corrupt, you are a murderer. So they are saying corruption, they don't refer to them as murderers, they are murderers. They killed people. Yet not a single one of them has been arrested. Society has got no problem of corruption. They want you to deal with it decisive, then they know their consequences. They will run away from corruption. So that's the kind of leadership we'll introduce in this country where we deal decisively with things that are not beneficial to the people of South Africa.